it's Jana. Welcome to my channel, The Preppy Crafty Girl, and I am here going to work on some embellishment clusters for my recipe journals. And I was inspired by Kitty Witty Paper Craft on these, and also the fact that I had some of these tiny little vintage doilies and so I started pulling out some items out of my stash and I'm gonna work today. So as my base, what I'm gonna use are these guest check tops. So I had a bunch of the tops and the bottoms because I used the middle part for journaling squares and so this is gonna be my base. And of course I'm gonna make 12 of them for my 12 journals. So we, yes, we are going to be mass making today. So what you're gonna to wanna to grab is some sequins, little punch shapes, punch shapes. You're gonna need some colorful or within your colorway, some scrap papers, maybe some rickrack or some baker's twine or some kind of twine. Of course, you need Betty from the Flintstones. Uh, not really, she's just here for my support. <laughs> a tab punch, I've got a banner punch. I have my little tray of punched goodies and some fabric and this I got pulled this out. This was from Meg from a happy, happy mail from um, Mega Chasing Retro. I got some more Rick Rack in here. I have some label thingies uh, and then I have some punched out book pages and I have like different shaped. So this one's a scalloped edge. I have some colors that I started to do. And then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna wait until I decide. And then these were some printables that I had from KB and Friends and I have not used them. So I decided to print them out and just punch them. They're a lot bigger, but I just went through and I punched them all out. The images are bigger and so, but I wanted these smaller ones. So that's the nice thing about printables. You print it and then you can do with whatever you want. If you want to use part of it or what the shape or just cut out like a little girl, I just cut her out, she was in a bigger image. And then I have a couple of die cuts that I pulled and I have some washi tape paper. And that is all you're gonna need for making these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with the uh, guest check blank. That's gonna be my base. And then I'm gonna use some of this art glitter glue and I'm just going to start layering. So I'm gonna add in some, oh my goodness, these are like just the sweetest little paper doilies. I don't know if you can see this because it's on a white background, but is that not like so detailed? Super, super cute. And I'm just gonna layer that behind the guest check. And because I'm mass making, Everything will be the same except for the images. So I have 12 of these. So I'm gonna do the same thing and hopefully you'll be working along. I'm gonna do one and then I will fast forward so you can see how the rest of them come out. How is that? So let's, I'll work on two. Alrighty, so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna add, maybe on one of these, I do the die cut over here and I liked it with this little flower I already kind of had that planned out and then I do need some another little embellishment like so I think that looks super cute and then I'm gonna add in it's a little more on the monochromatic side so I need to add a little bit of that reddish tone in there maybe by adding a label in like that and then I'm gonna add in add this Amy Tangerine I'm pulling out the roller stamps people I am pulling out the roller stamps and I'm just going to come in here and just add this says uh sweet something which I thought is kind of good for, or something sweet. <laughs> I read it backward. Just gonna put that in for some texture. We'll add a texture in the back. And then I printed or I grabbed some of these little sticker sheets. So maybe I add that on there. How about these black ones? 
and I'll add that onto that red label. That'd be cute. And how about we make this about breakfast and I will put rise and shine on that little red label. How cute would that be? Maybe I put it down here so that if someone want on my, when it goes in the journal, someone could put, oh shoot. Well, that's a little crooky. Hopefully it's not stuck down yet. It's a little stuck down, so I'm gonna just reapply some glue on here and put this down like that. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And that will be that one. So let's glue it down. Hopefully you're crafting along or at least pulling some items out so that you can craft along. Oops. I think I might. Uh, I'm going to get some. I'm going to do a little staple right there, and I think I have to get up for this, sorry. I'm going to use my little tiny attacher, and I'm like, I'm just going to staple that to there. Not that it's holding it on because it's definitely glued down. Uh, and then, let's see, I think I'm going to add in some little sequins would be cute in this color. Uh, let's see, I'm going to add in the aqua. Oop, not that color. It's too bright. But I do have this little aqua color. I need something right over on that side. So let me get three of the aqua. Oh my gosh, these are like they have, um, they're like, ah. Where's my little doojiki thingy? There it is. Okay, now I, with these, I like to add my glue down first. So I'm gonna just place the glue on there. Whoop, whoopee. And then I'm gonna stick them down on the glue. Like that. So, and that is my first one, and we're just gonna keep on rolling them out. So right now, I'm going to put on a little music, fast forward, and you can work on 12 of these with me. And I'll be right back to show you how they all came out.
Okay, I am back with the little flip through of everything we did. Slow things down and show you the whole thing. We made a bunch of them together. So I've got that one, this one, blue one, that one, that one, that one, this one. Each one is cute in its own, right? But it's still using the same kind of recipe for the layout, basically. I kind of got my groove more toward the end. This one, I think, needs a little bit of book paper behind it. But anyway, that's what we got so far. And um, I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you everything we have been making over the last month for these recipe journals. Wait till you see how much. If you have been hanging in there with me and creating with me, you're going to have tons of ephemera for your journals. Okay, guys. Thank you. See you later.